Oh man, that really does it for me. That is, uh, uh, I'm a Latin jazz enthusiast, and uh, that is a track called Hong Kong Mambo. And it was uh, recorded, produced, launched in 1958 by legendary Latin jazz percussionist Tito Puente. Uh, wow, that's one of my favorites, and um, you know, I needed a little motivation to uh, get me going today here. And you know, I'll tell you why because today we're going to be talking about doubt. You know, yesterday I talked about the mindset, right? Today I'm talking about doubt because doubt is a dirty little word, and you can just ask your life partner about that. This is episode nine, online digital education mastery. My name is Gabriel, and I'm here because, you know, I think that the word doubt, um, a little word, has really impacted my morning, and I want to I want to shake it off with you guys, because you know, my life partner, no, no, that's me, that's me, right here. My life partner, you know, has doubt. She has doubts about her business. Has doubts about things that. You know, put breaks in her life, which put breaks in our life. So a little Hong Kong mambo gets me going, gets me a little bit more motivated because I need that motivation and I need to really get inspired because as Winston Churchill was quoted stating, the pessimist sees the difficulty in each opportunity and the optimist sees opportunity in every difficulty. So that's what we're going to talk about today, doubt, dirty little words. You know, the letter D um, has a lot of really negative words, you know, death, disease, disaster, divorce, you know, danger, doubt, and probably the list goes on and on. And, and not to say that it doesn't have any good words, you know, it, it, it probably does a lot of positive words, but uh, that's not my focus right now. My focus is, you know, on that mindset, okay? One of the biggest breaks on growth is pessimism. Since it is a negative anticipation of the future. It just is, you know? And, you know, pessimism, doubt, you know, all, all, the, all these negative thoughts that, that, that control our minds. Look, I struggle with that every day as well. You know, the air is human, we're only human, right? And I, I care to want to... Uh, be able to uh, talk to myself, you know, because I, I'm in it between me. It's, it's me against me. It's you against you every day. So, you know, if you got any doubt, if you're a pessimist, if, if, if you're, you know, if, if you're a negative person because you allow your brain to constantly remind you that you can't, it's not possible, whatever the, whatever the reason is, you know, let me tell you, you're not alone. You're not alone. See, this is me, and this is my wife. Today, my wife had doubt. It caused me to feel like, you know, where, where am I going wrong? And trying to motivate her, trying to inspire her, because I feel motivated. I feel inspired by her. But apparently, you know, and she's going to say, you know, it's not me, it's not you, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm like, I ain't having none of that. So as an online educator, I want to I want to stress that to you guys. You know, you you have doubts, you will have doubts because you're human. But the fact of the matter is that, you know, there, there's a solution to that, right? And and there should be because, 
here you are in the 21st century and you're trying to figure out what, what are you doing with yourself? You know, we're in a pandemic. How, how can I get out of this? How can I earn an income? How can I generate revenue, you know, so that I can start to feel uh, confident, you know? And every negative connotation has a positive, you know, has a positive opposite and as equally as strong uh, word, you know? And, and, and you've heard of that, right? Polar opposites, you know, on, off, yin, yang, you know, salty, sweet, good, bad, etc. cetera. Uh, you know, those, the, the fruits of each paradigm, okay, exists. And I have a list of these words, you know, that, that I thought would be uh, quite appropriate for online educators to understand. You know, well, when you're thinking about generating revenue, when you're thinking about working online, uh, one of the biggest fears that you have is uh, how, how do I get it going? What if students behave badly? What if I'm not getting along with parents? What if, you know, uh, I, I'm stressed out because I'm feeling overworked, because I'm feeling underappreciated, because I, I don't have the right lesson plans? What if I have 30 kids on my Zoom class who are freaking out? And I can't control these kids. Well, you know, that fear has an opposite and positive, you know, if, if anything stronger, you know, uh, uh, what, do we, what do we call that? The, uh, the anecdote or the, yeah, the, the, the anecdote to that fear, which is stronger, would be love. You know, when we fear fear, your opposite and stronger effect is love. Where's the love? Show the love. Give the love. You know, insist on the love. And that'll get you where you're going. That'll, that'll eliminate that fear. If you're going to be afraid and you're conscious of that, be conscious that you have the opposite, stronger effect, which is love. Give that love back. I'm trying to give my wife her love back today. You know, she, she, she's doubtful today. She's got a lot of doubt because, you know, well, she's got a shoe store. It's a second try. And, you know, here in Ecuador, this is a nickel and dime economy. And I got to tell you something, right? You guys see pictures and things like that. And right away, you know, you judge a book by the cover saying, oh, look, you know, rich guy, shoe store. I'll tell you something. We got to work just as hard here in Ecuador as we do in the U.S. or any other place in the world. And we got to do it in a way that, you know, it, we, we conform to what is the economy here, the, the way of thinking, how people spend money. And this is a nickel and dime economy. And here we are. We're trying to push a quality shoe store for women where the average shoe price is somewhere between $24 to $42. The highest price point is $42. And you got people here who come in, you know, be like, they'll try the shoes on for like an hour. They'll talk about all this interesting stuff, blah, blah, blah. And then they'll say to you, what's my discount, which... We give them a 30% rock bottom right away, you know, price. And then they'll say, well, you know, that's, that's, that's more than I wanted to spend. <laughs> it kind of makes you feel like you want to like, like beat the crap out of somebody with that shoe. Right. Uh, but we can't do that. And, and, you know, I try to tell my wife, you know, we got to try to adjust. We got to try to adapt. You know a different method because i don't care if it's a nickel and dime economy or if it's a you know uh, uh, uh jimmy you know jimmy shoe valentino you know prada uh uh you know style shoe expensive uh we got to learn to adjust and we cannot be fearful let's not fear okay what we have let's look for a solution if you are afraid of becoming an online teacher and dealing with junk, uh, resort to love. What do you love about teaching that's going to help you, you know, get over that fear? What do you love doing, whether you're a teacher or not, that'll get you over that hump, that'll get you online, you know, mastering and, and educating people on your experience, on your academic achievement, what your life experience is that you can share with people, that people need, that you will you know, help people resolve a problem with. Uh, as I try to give my wife love today and 
give her reasons, you know, to uh, resolve her problem. You know, uh, I share this with you as my audience, my community, to understand that, you know, you can do the same thing. You can convert fear into love and focus on that and do what you love best, okay? And the fruits of your labor will happen, you know? It's a mindset, right? And, and sometimes it's tough. Look, it's tough for me to speak to you guys as educators because you already got a mindset that's pretty much defeated with the pandemic and, and, and you've been beat up by the education system for the last 20 years, you know? So it's gonna take time for you guys to really get, get, get into your mindset. And, and that comes to my second word here, rigidity. You know, you're rigid, you, you, you're tense. You know, you're, you're all tight, you're wound up. And why are you wound up? Because you're fearful. You know, it's all, it's all relevant, it really is. You know, if you start to think about it and you put your mind to it, okay? You know, like Winston Churchill said, the pessimist sees the difficulty in each opportunity. Well, you see difficulty in the opportunity to want to work online as a teacherpreneur. To want to take that experience and and convert it into you know revenue based on the passion that you have the love that you have for teaching so what what are you missing what the the, the knowledge and the skills we provide that for you you know we provide you the skill set we provide you the the click funnels environment for you to be able to do that you know and it, it's your decision but you're rigid you're you're tight because you know you work hard you're those kids online now with zoom oh my god they're they're driving you nuts they got their pets, they don't sit down, you know, and it depends who you're teaching. See, here's the beautiful thing. If you go with the opposite of rigidity, which is flexibility, and you give yourself an opportunity as a teacherpreneur, not to just work any kid online. Yeah, we love the kids, sure. But you can teach any kid online. You got to be flexible. You want to be flexible, not rigid. You can teach anybody online. You can, you can focus on your niche subject, educate that globally, and you can cherry pick, be flexible, cherry pick what your student role is gonna be. You can do that. So you don't have to fear, because you got love. You don't have to be rigid, because you got flexibility. It's all in the mindset, it's how you think. We're in a pandemic, so we're panicking, right? And because we panic, we get demotivated. Demotivation really sucks. Brings us down, brings our energy down. Again, what is the opposite of demotivation? Motivation. But see, motivation is the hard work. You know, in order for you to be motivated, you're gonna have a purpose. What is your purpose? Are you flexible enough to have a purpose? You know, can you feel the love of what you're passionate about doing to feel motivated? That's important. If you want to start, grow, and earn using Facebook organically and creating your teacher funnel, teacher funnel, okay, then you got you to gotta get motivated because it's not going to help you anyway, and you know this, okay, for the last 20, 30 years of your career. It's not going to help you to keep complaining about it, okay? Uh, how many times have we heard, you know? People who keep dying to do the same thing over and over and over again, expecting different results. You're nuts. Or you're a bunch of peanuts. I was a peanut once. I grew into a cashew, and then from there I became a, I don't know, a hazelnut. And, you know, I blew up. I'm a walnut now. You know, I'm, I'm out there. I'm feeling good, you know. And that's because I got motivated. I, I, I took an opportunity to want to be flexible, to do what I love, and to be motivated by that, you know, which brings us to our next word, you know, pessimism. You know, we already know what that means. If you're a pessimist, <laughs> you're like, oh no, that's negative. That's that's no, no, that, that's not me. How many times have you said that, right? Oh, that's not me. Uh, I can't do that. No, I won't do that. No, no, that's. You know, the opposite of pessimism, which is so easy to say no, you can say yes with optimism. Say yes to optimism, okay? That's your opposite. You want to be a pessimist? Be an optimist. I mean, you know, if you understand what the opposite word is, then it's not a stretch to actually realize it as you say 
pessimistic things as you feel pessimistic about something you can say how can i feel of optimism for this how can i feel you know some kind of like like good vibe from what i am feeling pessimism demotivation rigidity fear those are negative but when you have the opposite effect which is optimism motivation flexibility and love you start to do what you want and if you want to work online and be profitable six figures and, and, and you know what let, let, let's, let me let me talk about this six figure quickly okay you know we talk about six figures like it's a big number and it's not if you divide a hundred thousand dollars a year okay into 12 months that's eighty three hundred dollars a month all right that's not big money it really isn't okay so you can do a hundred thousand a year with your education with your with your life experience but you cannot be a pessimist and aim that high because all you're doing is just right right away you're, you're burying yourself in negative numbers opposite of pessimism optimism and here's here's one of the one of many reasons why online educators fail at being an online educator and and working for somebody else uh because of perfectionism you know don't do that you don't have to be you know a perfectionist you can have imperfect action you know i think it was uh harry truman who said that uh something to the effect and i'm going to paraphrase here you know it's better to uh, uh implement imperfect action than wait for perfect action something to that effect and this was during war times and you know better to attack and and you know it doesn't matter how you attack you know you just throw it out there it'll stick instead of waiting you know for something perfect you know because we're perfectionists you don't need to be a perfectionist all right you want the opposite of perfectionism excellence be excellent okay be the positive side of all this negativity that you're feeling as you want to segue into you know 21st century digital online education you don't have to work for somebody else because you've already done that forever you're in the new millennium and it's not even new anymore right we're 20 years into the new millennium okay so this should be no surprise to any online educator or any brick and mortar educator all right stop being a perfectionist stop being a pessimist stop being you know demotivated stop the rigidity stop the fear and get on board with love flexibility motivation optimism excellence these are the things that i tell my wife right here i tell her and i try to tell her but you know stubborn is as stubborn does right like i like to say and i kind of keep saying it right you can lead a mule to water but you can't make him dance not the hong kong mambo at least you can't do that with anybody you can show them, give them, provide them all the information they need. And until they accept and decide that this is for them, you know, you're just beating a dead a dead horse, is it? Or beating, you know, a rug. <laughs> it means nothing. All right. But I, I don't care because, you know, I understand me. And, and my mindset had to convert to this at a daily basis. So I'm there and I'm still doing this based on the next word, which is effort, you know? Uh, yeah, okay, we make an effort, yeah, but what is an effort without the sacrifice? Effort, sacrifice, you know, we make an effort, and then we say, yeah, hey, I made an effort, you know, so it work out, didn't work out. What did you sacrifice with that effort? Did you actually provide a service to somebody, you know, to be able to say, I made an effort that was successful? You know, anybody can make an effort, but was it a purposeful effort? Did you have a purpose? Was there a sacrifice? You know, there's, there's, there's no great reward without sacrifice. I, I think some movie line said that. I don't know. It's stuck in my brain, and I believe that too. You know, if, if you're not going to sacrifice something for that effort, don't make the effort. It's like jumping off a cliff and not caring whether you clear the landing or get to the other side. It's like, I'm just going to jump. I'm going to make an effort. Boom. For what? You know, if you if, if all this negativity is going to keep you where you're at, don't make the effort. But if you're going to make a sacrifice, whether it's for yourself, somebody else, your students, you know, 
and you're online and you're trying to create a niche English or any subject matter, math, science, you know, arts, uh, vocational, you know, uh, literature, whatever your niche is as an educator, make a sacrifice and provide a high value, okay, free service. You want to provide this free service. That's your sacrifice. You want to give them the best that you can right from the get. Give them free, free everything, all right? As you build your tribe, you build your community, people will come, you know, they'll stick to you because what you're doing and what you're sacrificing is bigger than what you can imagine. And you're providing a service that now you can be trusted. If you cannot be trusted, I'm not coming to your community either. Resentment. Yeah, that's the next word that we uh, we talk about around here as negative people. You know, people resent a lot. Teachers resent a lot, man. You know, if you look at the, the teacher threads on these communities, oh, my God. I mean, the negativity is amazing. The resentment is amazing. Why feed off of this resentment at a daily basis? Doubt is a dirty little word. Stop resenting. Stop doubting. Stop being a pessimist. You know, stop feeding into that. Stop sharing that with each other. If you can't share love, flexibility, motivation, optimism, excellence, sacrifice, let's talk about the opposite of resentment, the positive side of resentment, forgiveness. You know, a lot of that forgiveness is, is internal, right? You got to internalize that, that forgiveness. You know, do you forgive yourself about something that you're resentful of? You know, a lot of people don't think beyond that because, what? I'm the root of the problem? <laughs> yeah, yes, you are. Uh, most of us are the root of our own problems, but we're not going to admit that. You know, we're afraid to admit that. Well, start resenting, stop feeding into that. You know, get into the forgiveness side of things. Start with forgiving yourself for whatever. It's, it's actually a, a cathartic feeling. It feels great. It's like, oh man, you know, I just got rid of that heavy load. And I, I I am forgiven, and now I can't forgive others. And, and, and you know, don't don't be afraid to tell your colleagues, hey, I don't want to hear that shit, all right? Bunch of resentful people, you know. How about we talk about something more positive, like making money as teachers, as online educators? How do I go about doing that the right way without feeling like, you know, I'm afraid, without feeling rigid, without feeling, you know, that, that, that I'm a pessimist. There's ways to do that. And I provide you that information uh, for free. And I want you to take advantage of that. You know, hashtag live, hashtag replay, and I'll send you that information, you know. And then you can you can go ahead and ask me all the questions you want. We can do FAQs all day long. All right. We can go live and do this to debunk whatever false beliefs you have. And I'd be more than happy, to, you know, to be a pillar of this community. Online digital education, mastery, Facebook group, you know, we collaborate, teachers collaborating to ascend your value ladder. So let's talk about the last, you know, dirty little word here in my list of dirty little words. Violence. You know, all this pandemic thing, you know, that we're going through, all this stress that we're going through, economic blowbacks. You know, the U.S. has been having, you know, a, a roller coaster ride of, of tragedies uh, over the last 20 years. Uh, it's been more consistent and more violent over the last 20 years, and it's just getting worse. How do you think that affects your psyche? It does, and because you're a, because you're an educator, you think you're not displacing this violence yourself. Of course, you are. We all do. We just choose to ignore it, like and, and justify, like no, that that me. I'm just, uh, I'm defending myself against anarchy or whatever the hell else we we say. You know, violence can be physical. It can be mental violence, emotional violence. You know this. Come on, how many psychologists here know this? And, and can correct me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, if I'm the one who's violent right now, which I'm not. But you can have inner peace, and that's your opposite inner peace you want to have inner peace 
you, you got to get on the positive side of your mind. You got to acclimate your mind to think I can, not what the F or whatever other reason and excuse we have, which is a lot, you know. We have more reasons why shit won't work instead of one good reasons why it can't. And when we have one good reason, then we, we get all twisted like, well, I, I don't know what to do with that one good reason. Well, that's because it takes work. It takes it takes sacrifice. You know, it takes love. It takes flexibility. It takes motivation. It takes optimism. It takes excellence, forgiveness, and inner peace to be able to accomplish you know, all these things that you say you cannot do. And this is the exact message that I've been trying to give my wife. Right here. That's her right here. Today. See, that's me. Look like a Ryan Gosling from uh, The Notebook. Huh? And that's my wife looking like, you know, whatever her name was. That's a good movie too, right? Yeah, it made me cry. <laughs> you know? But, um... That's us. And that's the message that I'm trying to convey to my wife, you know, to get her on board with optimism, you know, because the optimist sees opportunity in every difficulty. And I'm trying to be as optimistic as I can in a nickel and dime community. You know, it's, it's hard to be an optimist in, 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 this, in this pandemic era, especially here in Ecuador. I get it. But it's not impossible. You know, the word impossible means I'm possible. I just learned that the other day, and I was like, wow, that's, that is such a cool thing. Impossible. If you just put an apostrophe, I, apostrophe, am, possible. I'm possible. So it's not impossible. It's difficult, yes. But, you know, if difficult is not a new condition, then we should be able to Get on it. We should be able to, like, get into that fight. Because when is it a fight? When it when is it not a fight? It's, it's always been a fight in our life, in your life. If you're not used to being in the fight, then you've been spoiled all your life. And I got to tell you, uh, that's going to be more difficult mentally to accept that. You know, I'm an American. <laughs> Born and raised New Jersey, Hudson County. New York tri-state area, and I got to tell you, all right, uh, the mindset, the capitalistic mindset and all that kind of good stuff, the freedom stuff, you know, uh, we, we become very complacent and very arrogant about that shit. Well, I'm going to tell you something. That sucks for us because now that we're in a pandemic and we've never had to deal with this, we don't know how to survive this. Very few do in the U.S., Okay. Uh, we, we panic, we freak out, and we are still freaking out because we don't know how to get online and earn a living, at least get it done the right way. It's all in the mindset. You change how you think, you change your life. Now, I got to tell you something. You want, you, you want, a, you want a good example of, 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 of some culture that actually has no problem with that? The Russians. The Russians, they've had a cold winter for 5,000 years. You ask any Russian. How do you survive, you know, the cold winters? And they'll tell you, that's not a new condition for us. We've been doing it forever. We don't freak out anymore. So, you know, because this is new to you, the pandemic, working online, how to create your own business, you know, embrace it if you want. Not everybody will, but if you're going to embrace it, uh, you got to understand, you got to change the way you think, right? And, and you got to try to acclimate yourself to believing in you. Forgive yourself, love yourself, motivate yourself, okay? Have inner peace, and then pay that forward. you got a lot of students in the planet that are looking for a niche teacher, okay, who is passionate, who wants to earn six figures, and who wants to learn how to do it right, I have the blueprint for you, all right? Hashtag live, hashtag replay, and I will send that to you. I got the four-month blueprint. I got the the the, the uh, ClickFunnels presentation guide. You know, I have everything that you need to know, how you need to do it. I'm paying that forward. I'm giving that to you. 
you want it, I'm going to give it to you. Okay. And that's it. It's a wrap. So I want to thank you for listening to me. And I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to talk to my wife now. And I'm just going to give her some love. I'm not even going to, I'm not fighting that. Are you kidding? That's a, I'll get my ass kicked if I do that. You know, I'm not going to fall for that again. I'm just going to listen, give her a piece of chocolate, and we'll work it out. But in the back end, I got her back. I want, I want my wife to understand that I have her back and that I will be a pillar. I will be, you know, uh, the, the hard one. I will be the optimistic one. I will be the motivated one. I will be the flexible one. Well, she is having difficulty with the dirty little word called doubt. I will be the opposite of her doubt, and I will fight it head on. We do not have time to fall and crumble, not in this pandemic era and not here in Ecuador or any place else. From online digital education mastery, Facebook community of teachers, helping teachers, collaborating to ascend your value ladder. My name is Gabriel. Thank you for watching. And uh, I'm going to go listen or finish listening to the Hong Kong Mambo, 1958, Tito Puente. Have a nice day. See you soon.